Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. Big, huge news from Toyota this week. The full-size Crown sedan returns for 2023. Yeah, so we're gonna take our first look at it right now. While other automakers have given up on large sedans, Toyota has doubled down again with a new full-size model that resurrects the legendary Crown flagship. Replacing the now-canceled Avalon sedan in North America, the new 2023 Toyota Crown is a global top-end model for the brand and will be built at the Tsutsumi plant in Japan starting late this year. Making the large sedan more appealing will be a taller silhouette and high seating position that reads more like a crossover from behind the wheel. The seating height is some four inches higher than that of the Camry, offering easier entry and exit, as well as better visibility. There is much historical significance to the Toyota Crown, which has been at the top of the brand's food chain around the world from 1955 to 1972, often called the Japanese Rolls Royce. It's long been used to chauffeur dignitaries and was the first Toyota to come to the States in 1958. While styling is familiar with Toyota DNA, the Crown is all new with styling and design treatments that speak to its place in the showroom. Wheel sizes range from 19 to 21 inches LED lighting standard all around as is generous use of premium trim elements. It features a fastback roofline that reads more like a Grand Tour Coupe than traditional sedan. The Toyota Crown will be exclusively available with two hybrid powertrains. Most notable is the first offering of the Hybrid Max powertrain on platinum trim grade that features a 2.4 liter turbocharged engine and six speed automatic transmission. Between the two is a powerful electric motor and an additional electric motor at the rear axle for what Toyota calls E4 advanced all wheel drive. The new Hybrid Max system offers up to 340 horsepower and as much as 28 mpg combined. More captivating is that its direct shift automatic transmission will give the Hybrid Max Crown a more exhilarating driving experience offering the ability to be manually shifted and held in a selected gear. Additionally, the Platinum will offer an expanded selection of drive modes including Sport Plus. Toyota says it'll go from 0 to 60 in 5.9 seconds. Standard propulsion will be the latest generation of the venerable 2.5 liter gasoline engine and ECVT hybrid system with electric motors front and rear for all wheel drive. With a new high output bipolar nickel metal hydride battery, it's expected to offer up to 38 mpg combined and I'm told about 236 total system horsepower. Built on the TNGAK platform, it comes in at 194 inches of length and 112 inches of wheelbase, which makes its footprint just slightly less than the outgoing Avalon. It features a McPherson strut type front suspension and a fully independent rear suspension, and on the platinum grade, it has electronically adaptive dampers. The interior strikes a conservative tone in its design theme, even compared to the outgoing Avalon. Don't be fooled, however, it'll come loaded with plenty of high-tech and creature comforts. Soft trims surround all major touch points and seating surfaces will range from Softex vinyl to full leather trim. A fully digital instrument cluster and a new 12.3-inch touchscreen infotainment and human interface grace the dash. The latter will feature a full range of multimedia content and audio options, many part of a new subscription service. Special attention has been given to sound blocking with features like acoustic glass, extra sound insulation, and body sealing materials to assure a ride and driving experience befitting of the Crown's name. The 2023 Toyota Crown starts production later this year and is due to arrive late in 2022 or early 2023. It continually surprises me that Toyota has such confidence in their sedan lineup. So many automakers have given up. We can't do this. We're just going to build SUVs and trucks and, and take the easy route. Yet Toyota continuously brings us new sedans. So I admire them for that. I'm obviously looking forward to a test drive in the Crown. We should be doing that late this year or maybe early next. Until then, see our latest video right there. Better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel right there and we'll keep you notified of when that test drive comes.